This is Anfisa from Retina Coach, and this video will be addressed to technique of peripheral carbon liquid removal from the vitreous cavity. PFC is a surgical tool, and it's important to assure proper removal of all liquid in the end of the case. In routine surgery, the removal of PFC performed after full reattachment of the retina and fluid air exchange. Fluid, or as it also called back flash needle with soft tip cannula, can be used for the liquid removal. During removal, need to stay with the tip of the cannula inside the PFC bubble, and when almost all PFC removed, to stay with the soft tip in the safe area above the optic nerve head or nasally to it. Soft tip should not be pushing the tissue to prevent its damage. Visualization of small amount of residual heavy liquid can be difficult due to its transparency. Techniques to assure proper removal of PFC exist. The idea of one of them is to wash retained PFC by BSS solution. It can be achieved by switching back to air fluid in the infusion system, allowing some BSS solution to enter the eye, or by injection of BSS solution using a regular syringe. After injection, BSS solution aspirated together with retained small PFC bubbles. This procedure could be repeated few times and allows to assure that no PFC was left in the eye. In conclusion, few things should be remembered while aspirating the PFC in the end of the case. First of all, use the soft tip cannula to remove the liquid because a blunt tip cannula could cause a damage to the retinal or optic nerve head surface. Second, stay inside the PFC bubble with the cannula tip while aspirating. Third, when almost all PFC removed, stay above the area of the optic nerve head or nasally to it. And fourth, wash out the PFC well, for example, by using BSS solution. Visit the Retina Coach website where you can find other videos and content about retinal surgeries and where you can share your surgical techniques and cases with others. Thank you for your attention.